Don't you worry about me. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Depth of Extinction. A really, really cool turn-based roguelike. It's got some nice classes in it. Uh, about what you'd expect, you know, assault, uh, shotgunners, stuff like that. But you also got some, some interesting stuff. Uh, like the Wrecker who shoots like an orbital laser cannon and destroys in like an area. It's super, super cool. We're going to jump into a new game. Overwrite my previous save data? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, would you like to play the prologue? No, that's fine. I'm good, bruh. I mean, not good, but I've played four hours so far, so we're getting pretty okay at this. We've got two new characters available, fireproof shoot, suit, rusty shotgun, uh, only one mission that we can take on at the moment, but luckily the difficulty is easy, the faction is raiders, and our reward is advancing the story. So here's our loadout screen. Your total funds will be displayed here, um, and you can add them to your objective funds as you would like, but first you've got to complete a mission, so I'm not going to spend all of my funds immediately on the armored sub, because uh, generally you don't take too much damage to your sub, and if you do, it's relatively easy to get it repaired, so we'll stick with the standard sub for now. Uh, the map layout and stuff reminds me a lot of Faster Than Light, which is nice. I like that a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and add our two people that we actually have, Flash and Medusa, are actually members of the team, so we don't have to pay for them. But then you can also hire a Merc, which generally costs about 50 for a level 1, 75 for a level 2. Looks like everybody's level 1 at the moment. Magog. Um, he's got a rusty shotgun. So yeah, we've got the shotgun dude, the sniper, um, SMG boy, and that wrecker that I was talking about with the minigun. Really, really nice for that area of effect damage. So, I'd like to buy two mercs, but that's not going to happen. I guess we stick with the, uh, either the sniper or the, the shotgun dude. Oh, we got two people with carbines. We'll go with Magog. Oh my gog. Alright, so let's launch this objective. Here we are on the map screen. Uh, basically we want to get over to this sector and we travel through each of these sectors. Now it's not just like jump one, jump two, because once you go to this sector, it's gonna be like, hey, this is what's actually in this this sector of the map. Um, so we need to get to this yellow exit point. You can obviously explore as much as you want, but gas is a thing, and we can only hit 12 spots before we gotta refuel. So if you move quickly, you can easily get to the objective without refueling which is good for stacking money and stuff like that. We'll go to the food production first. Pirates have staked their claim on this area and left several build burning several burning ships afloat to remind others to steer clear. Well, let's uh, enter cautiously. You manage to slip by patrols and see a bigger ship looming in the distance. You silently bring your ship us alongside and step aboard. There may be something of value here. Yes, let us hope. So we've got a couple of items. Fireproof suit would be one of them. I'll go ahead and equip flash because that that makes sense. It's like flash fire, you know? And then uh, what else we got? That rusty shotgun, which I'm not going to bother with. Carbine, that'll do just fine. Hopefully we'll find some extra gear in here. Operation Ultra Footalk. Footalk. These randomly generated names and such. So our mission is to investigate the facility Hit M for map. Hooray! So we can see that we got uh, five groups to go through, or four, I guess, since we're docked in the first one. Uh, but generally, what I like to do is set follow mode, so you don't have to move each character individually. So we'll go ahead and set Magog as the point man, Medusa as the trailer, since uh, he's got the least amount of health. And we'll go ahead through the southern door first, so we can like loop it around. Swoop it and loop it. Looks like there's some food in that other room, but food is not really a, a resource in this go. game. So we don't need to worry about that quite yet. I really like this game. Uh, the atmosphere is super nice. The combat itself is really, really nice. And then the upgrades and things like that are just ultra cool. Ultra cool as well. You definitely feel it when your character levels up. 
get to assign some points. We'll uh, get to that when we hit the level up screen. Let's Looks go. like there's not much else in this room, so let's pop this door. Hello, hello, anybody here? Maybe not. Maybe so. Target acquired. There's some loot. I like loot. Well, it seems uh, we're in combat. Oh, there's the fucking dude. Got a couple of deckhands. All right. On the move. I shouldn't have moved up so close, but let's go. We'll post these guys with carbines back here, and then hopefully a uh, shotgun man can take a couple of hits. Or shotgun lady? I guess all I'm all hit. my all my players are ladies. Uh, but yeah, we should fire this rusty shotgun, I suppose. Hmm. Or snapshot. Snapshot. How's that? Do it. Shazam. 85% chance to hit. I'll take it. This one's a freebie. Alright, so we'll move this dude up so he gets cover here. And, uh, alt will be used to switch weapons. And we do have a grenade, so I'll go ahead and fucking lob that. Yeah. Fucking trick. Did not destroy the, uh, cover that he has there, but that's okay. Can this guy move up? Sure can. And there's not much chance of hitting anything over here, so I guess I should move uh, move Medusa up as well. Maybe draw some fire. Yeah, not the not the greatest choice I ever made, but you know what? I guess that's okay. Gonna destroy this cover now. Boom. Requesting support. And now we've got uh, free rain on this guy. He's still pretty far away, so we got that range reduction as far as accuracy goes, but 47% ain't bad, I'll take the shot. At once. And we got it! At once. Super! Picked up uh, 5 credits and 4 credits from the corpsey there. On the move. And let's see what's in this loot status shot. Okay. Evacuate facility? No, not yet. Clear any negative status on the character. Well, it's not Heading too out. bad, I suppose. On the move. Let's go ahead and uh continue to clear the facility. Still got a little bit of gas left. Loot spotted. Alright, so we're gonna hang back this time around. And I'll get some reload here. This guy's on overwatch. That's probably not a bad idea. I want to drag Medusa back because there's a definite lack of uh lack of help there. So this dude's moved up, but I don't think he's going to uh, have much of a chance. So let's go ahead and pass this turn. And maybe we can grenade? Yeah. Fire in the hole. Frag that fucker. Blech. How's that? Now he's crippled. Come out and take the shot. Take the shot! Got him, coach. Alright. Got another dude coming out. I'm hit. Oh fuck. Medusa's looking in bad shape. Let's go. Alright. Shotgunner, get up there. We gotta keep Medusa safe. Go, go, go. So just sit back Cover here and me. defend. Obviously defend will let you uh take less damage should they come at ya. Um Move. Let's try this shotgun out. Blah. Alright, that'll do. And one more. How about go, it? Go, go. All right. So half of me says that we need to get the fuck out of here before Medusa drops dead. It's probably the uh, the wise thing to do. I need a medic. Got some inferno ammo. There's an another room left, but I just I don't have the heart to do it. If one of my dudes drops this early, I'm gonna be in uh, some serious trouble. And it's different if uh, a mercenary drops compared to your your actual team members. Because if you get your team members all leveled up, then you can recruit them for free. If a mercenary drops, then yeah, just buy another mercenary. You're good to go. So, team extracted successfully. Got a little bit of EXP stacking up. Super nice. It tells you who defeated the enemies here, which is uh, kind of nice. And yeah, our loot. All of our loot that we found. Delicious. So we got a few credits. We'll see if we can find a vendor or something like that. 
There's a hospital here, power station, probably hospital. Uh, once you get back to the ship, your guys are completely recovered, so you don't need to worry too much about getting Medusa back with one health, because on the next mission, uh, he'll be completely recovered. So, small residential platform. Quietly, you creep your way towards the entrance of the residential platform. From a distance, you can hear voices talking. It seems that the civilian is being held hostage somewhere inside. So we could equip some items or something like that. We'll give Flash the Inferno ammo, because that, that makes good sense. Um, status shot? I'm not really into it. Let's just launch the mission. Why not? Operation Golden Toenails. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And uh, to unlock the the cell there, we're going to need to find a console. So it's probably in one of the rooms go, on go, the go. way over there. We'll have to see, I do suppose. And um, it's generally like not difficult to hack it once you find it. It's basically just a matter of walking over and clicking on it. So, don't worry none too much about that. But yeah. Oh, there's the terminal. Okay. This guy's going to get go, some loot. Go, go. Got some credits over there. If you guys could go get the other credits, I'd be uh, super grateful. Oh, it's fuel. Well, that's always useful. Alright, so, uh, tick attack. Press some buttons. Door unlocked. Piece of cake. So let's, uh, swoop it down. We'll go down to the right, collect the hostage, and then we can clear out that last room if our health is still decent. There's probably somebody waiting around in this room. But we'll see. Anybody? Anybody at all? Nope. It's empty. So, not a whole lot of combat in this mission. Which, I guess, I guess I'm grateful for. That's fine. There's probably going to be some combat in this room. Who wouldn't be guarding their hostage, hmm? Yep. There's the boy. Alright, so we got uh, quite a few dudes hanging out. I'm on top of this guy though, so fucking shotgun. Shotgun to the face! And we'll move this chicka up here. Uh, should I bring this dude around? Have him maybe get some covering up here? It might be a good idea, but there's three dudes down here. I don't think there's that many other fellas. So we'll have him this way, and I could fire the carbine, but I'm gonna stick him on overwatch. Because that's always a nice thing. Shazam! Three damage. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Unfortunately, that guy fucking plugged my, uh, my shotgunner. That's alright. We can net this kill right now. Fire carbine. And unfortunately, I didn't ignite him or anything with my inferno ammo, but it's fine. Took a shot at my, my shotgunner, but missed. Grateful for that. Uh, let's try and move this, this lady up and fire again. Yeah! Got the credits. Alright, we good. Target acquired. Open up the door. Hey! What are you doing in here? Keep them Just hanging out? Go, go, go! I'm being paid to help them. Yeah. This is my mercenary. His name is Magog. Oh, Magog! Alright, so we'll run through that last room and see what it might hold. A little bit of loot? Who knows? We just have to make sure to keep the, uh, the package secure, you understand. Oh damn, there's no way through over here? On the move. If it's combat, you can blow stuff up. Unfortunately, I can't blow anything up right now. So, we'll, we'll go back go, the go, other go. way. Fucking tail between my legs. Um, hello? Alright, turn follow mode off. Somebody open the door. Follow mode back on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Some things are a little bit wonky like that, but overall I think this game is fucking fantastic. I really, really uh, get sucked in. That good old one more turn feeling, you know what I'm saying? 
And I do have a frag grenade for this guy, so I think I'm just gonna fucking toss it. Go ahead. Did I use my frag grenade already? Hmm. Seems I can't toss it for some reason, so alright. Oh shit. Enemy spotted. Don't take cover. Don't take cover behind the box, everything's fine. Um we're gonna hit this box. Alright, so we've got flash. Um I kinda wanna get rid of this dude, but I don't know how it's gonna happen. So I'll take as much cover as I can. And this would be one action point, this would be two. I guess I'll just put him in the middle of the hall. Hope to fire the carbine. Alright, give it a shot. I missed. I missed, of course. And go, go, go! We'll fire the carbine. Twenty-five percent chance. That's horrible. Just, just do it. We destroy this cover at the very least. We're under attack. All right, they're aiming for my shotgunner, which is not terrible. Shotgunner got a lot of health. Um. Oh, that's not the shotgunner. My shotgunner's up here. All right, then let's move up a little bit. And do this. Oh my. Dead. Dead as fuck. Alright. Now give me that fucking grenade. Excellent. Heading out. More grenades? Y'all want some more? Throwing grenade. I got some of this. Keep them coming. Alright. There we go. We're gonna head over to this door. Hopefully those fellas will collect some loot for me. We'll be uh, sitting pretty. Eddie sitting pretty. On the move. Four credits, coming. four credits. On the move. Well, not the worst thing ever. A little bit of extra money, why not? I was hoping for, you know, gear. On the move. Better armor and weapons and such, but... Move. Yeah, you get what you get. Sometimes you get lucky. If you really want some more gear, fucking explore the map and shit like that, but... I don't know. I generally I try and know. just get the mission Check completed as fast as possible. Let's evacuate. Sure. Flash is leveled up now. Sweet. And uh, Medusa should be pretty close to leveling up as well. I don't know if Cheetah's going to stick with the team or not. Probably not, since it's a civilian. Oh no. She did. Sweet. What do you need? So here's our, our level up screen. Or rather, this is the equipment screen, but under this, you get the level up screen. <clears throat> On your first level up, you're going to get to choose a class. There are some lock classes down here. One of these is Swashbuckler, like Pirate, which is pretty nice, but sometimes civilians won't help you if you're with a pirate, so take that class with caution. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but yeah, like I said, Wrecker Absolute AoE Mayhem Wildcat basically gets in your face, unloads with the machine gun. <coughs> Dang. Same with the Assault. That's uh, what we have Magog as right now. Assault can just get in your face with a shotgun. Warden is meant for directing fire onto itself, somewhat like a Paladin. It's actually a pretty good class to pick. Uh, then you got the Deadeye Sniper, the Soldier kind of just does everything. One of my favorite things of the soldier, though, is item master. One extra u item use per mission? Dang. Uh, for now, I guess I'll be a warden. It's not too bad. We do have flash with the uh, extra extra gear and whatnot. Then you can see the skills are like, hey, distraction, hunker down, a little bit of cover and fire. And, uh, yeah. Just generally good to keep your other dudes safe, especially with that distraction skill, so I'm going to do that. You got Constitution, which basically uh, contributes to your health. You got Awareness, uh, it's good for cover, dodging, stuff like that. Reaction will allow you to snap back and return fire, which I really, really like. Grit basically is your, your badassery. You can see you get hit points from Grit, but you get uh, double hit points from Constitution. So, Constitution's probably going to be what we'll go for. Uh, speed is a really, really nice thing as well, especially for snipers and stuff like that. And then, of course, you got your class-based skills, 
which I'd like to level up and get distraction at the moment, but um, probably constitution's the most important thing. Get those hit points up, you know what I mean? So go ahead, level it up. Level one. So Medusa's almost there. Cheetah's got a way to go. We need to stop giving kills to Magog. That is the secret to get everybody all leveled up. Um, so it looks like two more moves to get to the exit there. We're doing really well on fuel. You basically find a whole lot of it. Um, I'll go do the industrial center. That's fine. An armory sits floating on the seas. A large smoking hole punched into the side of it. You can't tell how recently it was attacked. Take a closer look. You get close to the facility and see several sentries posted out front. There may be something of use here after all. Still be something of use here. Alright, launch that mission. Launch it up. Saffron Firebrand. Here we come, boy. I got four people now. I got full team. I guess the uh, hostage felt indebted to me. Which, you know, you kinda are at that point. Go, go, go. Let's be honest. On the you move. gotta come with me now. On the move. Even if you're just a civilian, you won't be forever. Cheetah. With a name like Cheetah, I want to make him a Ripper class or something like that. But, uh, we won't really know. If I find an SMG or something like that, I'll be like, okay. Go, go, go! I know what you're going to be. But at the moment, it's Let like, it okay, based on what we find, probably the next one will be, end up being, uh, a soldier. What do you call that? Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none. Because right now everybody's got a carbine, basically, which isn't a bad gun, but also not super impressive. So there doesn't seem to be much loot in that room. We will continue on. As you can tell, it takes just a minute uh, when you're playing this game to get through things. I wish there was a, a skip button, so you could just be like, okay, um, have all the, the allies move and you're good to go. But that's not how it is, unfortunately. 71% chance to hit? Shit. Go for it. You're getting really good with that carbine, ain't ya? How about this? I guess because he had no fucking cover. No complaints here. So we'll send Medusa on up. Got some enemies coming out of the woodwork now. Are they gonna be able to hit me from there? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Most definitely. So, uh, let's take cover here and just lob a fucking grenade. How about? Throwing grenade. Yeah. Did that work? Yeah, it did. No problem. On the move. All right, Flash, get on up there, and uh, we're gonna stick Cheetah move. over here, hopefully hidden away enough. Hmm. Go check for other enemies. It's probably a good idea. See what exactly we're dealing with here. I'm hit. Ooh. Hit my guardian right in the face. Alright, let's pass the turn. Defer until the next character's moved. Defer again. Let's pass. Defer. I want Cheetah to get the kill. There you go. Spread that, uh... That EXP, nice and even. I forgot to look at the map before we started. But okay, it seems relatively linear. So get down here. Somebody go pick up that fucking loot, would you? Thank you so much. And we'll pop this door. Why not? Anybody home? Oh yeah. Always. Always somebody home. Alright, so... Let's take cover over here. Let's try and hold down this go, point go, go. with the shotgunner. And... Movement speed is massively reduced if you are in combat, so I probably should have waited for all my dudes to be together again. But oh well. It be what it be. So let's get Cheetah over here. Hopefully she can go, go, go. take a good pot shot at that dude. Don't hurt me! I'm hit. Fuck. Target acquired. There is another guy lurking down here. So, I guess we'll take a hit from him. Fucker. 
Got no frag grenades left. I could uh, fire at that guy, but 5% chance to hit? Shit. Cover me. I guess I'll defend. That'll do. Move. <clears throat> this is not going to work out well for Cheetah. I'm going to move her out. Get out of there. Back, back, back. This guy can throw a grenade. That's fine. Fire in the hole. We don't need any of that cover anymore. I'm hit. And they take a shot at my guardian because I didn't put her in cover at all. Fire that shotgun. Yum! Fucking trick. And let's uh, pass for the guardian. We'll defer for Cheetah. Medusa, take that fucking shot. You got it, Bo. Shit. See, that's that's what I didn't want to happen. Well, we're not going to be able to make the shot from here. Maybe I can just destroy this cover. That'll do. Now you got nothing. My guardian is taking a fucking beating. That's not good. Mm, not able to hit with the shotgun from here. That's alright. Flash, you want to just take the shot? She said no. Pass the turn. Got to get Medusa all leveled up. Alright. So, uh, we took a good amount of damage there. We're running low go. on grenades. Hey, but there's some loot. That's what I want. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Let's go. A few credits. I take it. Every time. Rusty Sniper. Hey. That's pretty cool. And there is this last room. You can see barbed wire trash cans. I know there's going to be some fucking dudes in here. So the question is... Do I go in with guns blazing, or do I just uh, cut my fucking losses and run? And of course I'm going to go in. Of course. Who do you think I am? What do you think this is? Alright, take the snapshot. Fucking fire. Without using any action points. And then I can still duck behind this wall for cover. Um, I definitely want Flash to get up here. Yeah, fire that carbine. Flat. Um, Cheetah, you need to get to fucking cover. That's what you need. Let's put her over here. If they want me, they're gonna have to come and fucking get me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it be like this, okay? There might be another enemy down there. Scratch that. I'm sure there is. But Medusa's got full health, so let's see. Let's see it go. Yeah, it's not actually too bad. We're probably gonna end up taking a hit, but worth it. Worth it. Took a shot there. This guy's left himself way out in the open. So let me reload my shotgun. There's <clears throat> almost no chance to hit that fella there. Dang. If only I wasn't so fucking happy with those frag grenades. Well, that's alright. Move them up. Yeah, fire the carbine there. We can hopefully take this guy down. Nope. That sucks. Alright. Should I get the frag grenade going? I suppose so. Whoa! That's a good amount of damage. Now, do I have a frag grenade here? No, I don't. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this fella. Yeah. But I got a 100% chance to hit, hit this guy. Can I move here first? That would probably be the better move. Shazam! That's right. You bleed. You bleed! Shit. Flank me real good. Fire the shotgun. Gotta hit something over there. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, that's a kill for Cheetah. Sweet. 
Very nice. She's a natural sniper. A sniper. I need a medic. And I missed. Oh. Fuck. I just lost Medusa. That sucks ass. On the move. Well, we got our shotgunner. We uh, are gonna make sure we learned a lesson. Go ahead, take the shot. Ah, crap. Hmm. Go, now go, shift. Go. And end the turn. I could go, take go, the go. shot, but I want to shift again. There we go. 68%. Ugh, oh, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Go, go, go. I'm gonna evacuate, but I wanna make sure everybody gets the uh, credits first. And then we'll get the fuck out of here. Head between my legs. Or tail between my legs. Head between my legs, too. Kiss my ass goodbye. So I guess Cheetah's gonna be a sniper. Medusa might have been the Ripper, but. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so sad. So sad when that happens. If we find another uh, merchant or something like that, we can get somebody else, but it still hurts, you know? It just, it just don't feel too good. You need to assign this character to a class. Yeah, no shit. Deadeye, destroy you from a distance. Mm-hmm. Super sweet. Yeah, it seems like a good, uh, a good, what do you call it? A trilogy? A good threesome. So we don't necessarily need constitution for the sniper, but I'm gonna take it anyways, just because I don't want what happened to, uh, to, to, what's his name? Medusa. <laughs> to happen to anyone else. So we've got, uh, the refinery, we've got some unknown scans coming back here. We'll go ahead and go to the unknown. It's a merchant ship. Hell yeah. Good to see you, bruh. So here's a Ripper named Juggernaut with a rusty SMG. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add her to my team. And that means we can't really buy anything else, but that's fine. At least we're back up to four. And that's a pretty nice foursome, if you would ask me. Unfortunately, two of them are mercenaries, so they will go away after this. And then we get to uh, leave the area. And now we're close to obtaining the code scrambler. Let's go ahead and uh, push forward. Episode's gonna be long, that's fine. Equipment and supplies at the warehouse, industrial center, and another warehouse. I guess we'll go industrial, just to keep it nice and mixed up. When the Republic began to lose its grip on the frontier, facilities like this were the first to come under attack. Now the facility stands as quiet as the grave. Well. You can use your Deadeye to survey, which is really, really nice. I'll go ahead and do that. The Deadeye Anger group manages to get a good view of a group of mercenary soldiers mulling around tr trying to open a storage locker in the back of the facility. You better hurry in and get to it before they do. I will. Don't you worry about me. So everybody's at least level 1 now, which is pretty nice. And dang. Standard armor? Oh, it just looks different different than the uniforms, but standard armor doesn't have any special stats. So, let's get to Operation Virtual Tidal Wave. I love the fucking op names. Super sweet. Find the package, way in the back. Alright. In the rear with the gear. Here we go. Somebody please pick up that cash over there, please. Hello? Thank you. Thank you so much. Target acquired. Alright, there's a little bit of loot. Target acquired. And there's an enemy. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, keep a watch up this way, I suppose. I could also just put him down here and... Oh shit. There's a fella. I didn't expect to see you here, fella. Well... I could also bring all my dudes back and have them force the, their way into this room and just pick them off one by one. Heading out. Alright. We got our warden with the carbine. 
59% chance, go for it. Do it. Fuck it, do it. How about uh, firing carbine over here? Yeah, finish him. Sweet. And we've got Juggernaut. I'm gonna go ahead and post her in the front. Don't hurt me. Oh, you hurt me. How could you do this? Alright, go ahead and take that shot. Wham. Dead as fuck. And I get some loot. And I get some credits. And some more credits. Every time. All day credits. I'm be rich as shit. I'm rich, bitch. Alright. Not a bad uh, first little Heading skirmish. Out. I took some damage there that I didn't have to. But it was on the sniper, so move. hopefully on she's not going to take any more damage. Let's pop this door. On the move. Jam up in there. And the it seems like not a whole lot in here. Aside on from a move. bit of loot. I like loot. As you wish. Yep, no Once. loot lockers, no nothing. That's fine. We can hit that last room on the way out. At the moment, I want to get to uh, to finding that package. Whatever they talking Ooh. about. There we go. Now the question is, push forward or pull back? And I think I'm gonna push forward. Mm. Yeah, there's another enemy there. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna hide behind this go. box, try and get this guy fucking plugged. That would be really nice. Yeah, sniper! Okay. So let's keep an eye out. Go, go, go. I'll move my little SMG queen up there. I'm taking shots at my warden, which is absolutely fine. Post this guy here on Overwatch. We could fire the carbine, but I think I'm gonna loop around. Hey, there's some loot. All right. So, go go yeah. go. Let's just let's just push up this way. Go go we can go. Swoop it and loop it. Come around on this bitch. Oh. I'm hit. You took a good amount of damage. Keep coming. I'm gonna get fucking finished off right now. Yowza! Alright. Not too bad. As you can see, Heading once out. you get a class for your characters, things yes, get a finish. whole lot easier. Especially if you've got the right gun for your class, which I actually didn't switch the sniper to having the sniper rifle, which Let's go. I'm pretty sure we have. So I don't know why I didn't do that. Like the lightning suit. Not gonna evacuate the facility quite yet. Uh, it does take a minute longer, but Heading I out. hope you'll bear with me. Thank you for bearing with me this far. Heading out. Depth of Extinction is one of those games that it's really hard to just stop. You can't finish a mission and be like, Heading okay, out. I guess that's it. You really want to run it through all the way to the end and yeah, see how it happens. I've had probably two teams that completed missions, and another two teams that fucking bit the dust. And it really hurts when a team bit, bites the dust, because you lose all the shit that goes along with them. You do have a store of equipment and stuff like that, but the equipment that they had on, like wearing, yeah, that's all gone. Let's just give that up. Alright, so we'll see if we can uh, lob some grenades over there. Mm-hmm. Go for grenade. it. Blech. There you go. I want to get some cover here. Hmm. Yeah, do that. First, do that. Save her grenade for now. Oh. This is our sniper. I guess go. I can move her behind this box. And then the ripper, I'll move up here. And... Oh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. Go ahead, fire. 
Nice thing about a ripper is they will just keep shooting until they need to reload. So the damage for the SMG is super, fire. super low. However, you can shoot multiple times, which obviously is a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and try and shoot this box, eh? Take some damage off it? Nope, not gonna happen. Alright. Well, I'm gonna lob this grenade then. How's that? You guys like that? Throwing grenade. Here it comes, bitch. There's one down. Go ahead and overwatch. And Ripper, go for it. See what you can do. Well, we blew up the cover, so that's nice. And picked him off with Overwatch. Hey! Hey! Super sweet. So I'll make sure everybody else gets the credits and stuff before we evacuate. Skip my turn again. Go ahead, get the shit. Cool! Got that fuel, got that uh, lightning suit. Yeah. Protects from stun. What? Delicious. Well, we had some casualties, but we're doing pretty good so far. I guess I'll finish out the mission off camera. Uh, there's really no boss fight at the end or anything like that. You just unlock more missions, which is always a super sweet thing. And, uh, yeah, you get to bring your old characters back until they stop surviving. So hopefully they'll keep on surviving. Hopefully you'll see them in another episode. If that would be something that you would enjoy, let me know. I really enjoy Depth of Extinction. I'd be happy to bring it back on the channel absolutely any old time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode, friends. That's the best way to let me know whether you liked it or not. Uh, also, please check out the links in the description. We've got links to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Facebook, a bunch of other stuff that I sometimes use. I'd also like to give a huge, huge shout out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. Those boys, a couple heroes of mine. Anyways, friends, once again, this has been Depth of Extinction. I've been bred and dating your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four.